So back when I was a touring musician in a Christian ministry band, we learned something, a very, very painful something, a lesson that stuck with me for decades, and that is this. If you buy junk, you're going to buy it again. Now, here's the scoop. We used to have these vans, like a van, like a, a cargo van that would get you from point A to point B, and you would take that van to go on your journey, and you'd bring your guitars and your amps and all your stuff, and sometimes even a trailer. And the problem with being a young touring band, Christian ministry on the road, is you don't have any money. And so what happens is you buy crappy vans that barely work, that can barely get you there, and they break down a lot. And because you don't have a lot of money, you don't buy a good van that won't break down. So you get stuck someplace, and inevitably, the repairs on that van would be more costly than just buying a new junky van and doing it again and again and again, and again. And so we learned the painful lesson that if you buy junk, you're gonna buy it again. Quality is absolutely far more important than if a thing is new, or if a thing is old, or if a thing looks a great way, or the sales pitch is a great way, or not. And let me tell you what, I don't care what industry you're in, whether it's farming, whether it's homesteading, whether you're in music or whatever it is. If you buy junk, you're going to buy it again. I mean, honestly, how many of us have gone to Harbor Freight and we've gotten the solar kits? I think I bought four of those solar kits. And after like the third solar kit breaking, it occurred to me, maybe you should stop buying the solar kits that have junky components and get a better solar kit. And lo and behold, when I started building my own systems, problems went away. I'm not trying to knock Harbor Freight for things like hammers and the cheapo tools that you know you're going to just break and you don't really care because you know you're going to break them. I'm not knocking them for that. I'm saying Brad should have done his research and realized that guess what? Those components are not quality components. No matter what the marketing says, no matter what the age of the thing is, if it's new or old, man, oh man. How many of you guys know, in the comments section right now, how many of you know of a tool or a trailer or a tractor or this or that that you've had for 20 years, 30 years, and just fires up, shoots, does great, yada, yada, whatever the device is, Put it down below. Say, I have had a this for 20 years. This tool works great. Now, I got to say this too. Just because a thing is old doesn't mean it's good either. Quality is what's important, folks. We're talking quality. And here's the funny thing about that. You see that tractor over there? That Ford 8N, 1948. 1948, okay? That thing has seen a lot of winters here in Wisconsin, cold winters, negative 10, negative 20, negative 30, not normally uh, that way all the time, but boy, it gets that way for weeks every year. And every year, if I have a fresh battery or I've kept the battery tended on that thing, guess what? It fires up, it works. And here's another little secret. Um, if there was ever uh, like an electromagnetic issue in the skies, maybe some kind of event happened with a EMP kind of thing, uh, for whatever reason, it'll still fire up. There's no computer chips in it. You know what else fires up? This guy right here. I know, I know, I know the steel chainsaw people out there going, well, my chainsaws, blah, blah, blah. Fine. Whatever, whatever. I'm just saying quality, quality. You know what else fires up? This vacuum pump right here. I honestly have no idea how old it is. My face must look pretty funny. But it was rebuilt for us by a Mennonite who is an awesome, awesome friend. Um, and I think they had it from the 40s, the 1940s. But this thing fires up every day 
twice a day, even when it's super cold out. Here, I'll prove it. Every time, all the time. This thing may be old, but it's quality. Okay, so now let me tell you a couple things that are actually new, marketed well. Boy, they look great on the shelves and you spend some money on them and they almost always fail. And that's solar fence chargers. This one, this one's not a solar fence charger. Why? Because this is the one that we had to buy to replace the third broken solar fence charger. And now I gotta get out in the field and hook it up. It's all dusty, why? Because we bought it knowing that the solar fence charger was eventually gonna die and that extended warranty eventually is gonna run out. You see that one over, over there clicking in the corner? Not solar, it's the AC ones. Well, you know, new is not always great, nor is old always good or bad. We're talking about quality. So quality over age, that's really the key because old is not always great. New and fandangly, awesomely marketed is not always the best thing either. Quality is. And let me tell you what, folks. Consider the cost. Consider the cost of buying something that's new and cheaper and, air quotes, better uh, if you have to buy it again versus spending a little bit more the first time and now you don't have to buy it again and again and again. There's the point. Please put your comments in the comments section down below. I'm wagering that you are going to agree with me about this, um, especially if you've been around the block. So there you have it, folks. I'm Brad. Please don't forget. My hands are pretty dirty. I'm messing with the tractor. Please don't forget to like and uh, subscribe. Doesn't cost you a penny and does help us out. Have an awesome and blessed day.